hello students today in your english grammar class we will study lesson 12 that is attain not attain okay so you all open page number 42 now tail not a tail first of all i will tell you that these two words t a l e tail and t a i l tail they are known as homophones why homophones homo means uh that sounds uh, same okay and phone means sound and homo means same so words which have the same sound or you can say pronunciation is same they are known as homophones and obviously the meaning is different okay so t a l e tail it this uh, the meaning of this tail is story okay and t a i l t this is a part of a um, body of animal if you see a dog or a monkey you can see no there's a tail behind punch that we say in hindi so uh, this uh, is a funny story about this um, how a boy is there and he you know he is uh, least bothered about spellings and how he make a mistake and such a huge mistake he has made just because he has written the wrong uh, spelling so children this is for you also after reading the story you will get to know that how important it is to learn the spellings you you all just learn the answers without having to look at the spellings but always learn whatever you are learning learn it with proper and correct spellings okay so let's start the chapter page number 42 a tail is a story and a tail well if you look behind a monkey a dog or a horse you will know what a tail is jimmy went to school just like you but jimmy did not like to read and he simply did not like to uh, spell so there was a boy named jimmy and uh, like uh, we all go to school of course nowadays you are not coming but very soon you will be coming so same with jimmy who uh, used to go to a school he was a small boy and uh, but he was not very interested in you know reading and you know learning spellings and all he was least interested jimmy liked to be read uh, read to and he liked listening to stories that his mother told him but he uh, was very fond of listening to stories he we liked to be read to to be read to means like i am reading and you are listening so it is stories read uh, to you okay so that way he means uh, he is he used to like that his mother is reading out the story and he simply listening at enjoying oh mama he said one night your stories are just not long enough i would like a tale that goes on and on a really long one so he said that mama is complaining to mama that as i told you that he is very fond of listening to stories so he told his mama that no your stories are not long enough you just tell short stories and that's over but i want the long ones okay the story that you know that goes on and on and i keep listening to it well you can go down to the garden said the said his mother and leave a letter for the brownie who lives there ask him for a real long tail that you can read so children brownie here means you know in a fictional stories there are elves uh, there are uh, small people short sighted people who have got such magical powers okay they are known as brownies just a, a imaginary character okay so she says that you can go to garden and you can just write a letter to brownie and maybe brownie will fulfill your wish of you know giving you a long long story that you can just uh, uh, read so the next morning jimmy took out his pencil and some note paper and he wrote what did he write see you can see in that brown color uh, paper sort of picture is there no very big clip is there it is written there dear brownie will you please give me a long 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 tail thank you love from jimmy so what he has written instead of writing t a l e tail that is story he has written t a i l t that is a uh, you know pooch the animal body part so he has made a mistake of uh, uh, asking t a i l t tail from a brownie now what happens how did jimmy spelt t a l e was it right no 
The brownie got Jimmy's letter and he was puzzled. Puzzled means confused. The brownie, that imaginary character, as I told you, who has got some imaginary, uh, sorry, magical powers, he got, he receives uh, Jimmy's letter, but he gets confused why this boy wants a tail, that is pooch, T A I L tail, because he obviously he reads T A I L tail only. He scratched his head. Scratched means just doing like this in his head because out of confusion he's doing. Well, if the boy wants a long tail, I'll give him one. So he says that there's no problem. If he wishes to have a tail, I'll give him one. Let him have a long tail. The next morning, Jimmy woke up with a shout. There was something very long and brown and furry around his legs. He stood up and saw that it was a fine long tail. So you can see in the picture given here, his wish was, his wish though not his actual wish, uh, but because of the wrong spelling, the wish was fulfilled. Now what he has got, a long furry brown bushy tail. And as soon as he sees the tail, he just started screaming, jumping on his bed. Mama, he yelled, look what the brownie has given me. Yelled means shouting, no screaming. He said, look what the brownie has done. His mother laughed. You must have spelled tail wrong. He gave you what you wrote, tail. So she, she said that because you don't want to learn spelling, so you might have you know made a mistake in writing the spelling. And instead of writing T A L E tail, what you have written T A I L tail, and that is what you have got. Now what do I do? Ask poor Jimmy. Write another letter to the brownie and spell it correctly this time. Said his mother. No, now his mother suggested that. Do not panic, you write another letter to Brownie and this time you mention correct spelling of tail, that is T-A-L-E, tail. So, uh, Jimmy wrote another note. It said, Dear Brownie, please take away my tail and give me a tail instead. So, he said T-A-I-L, tail, just take it off and give me T-A-L-E, story instead. The brownie was cross. This boy does not know what he wants. He growled. Growl means making angry sound. He said, what is this boy? Sometimes he's asking me tail, T-A-I-L tail. And sometimes he's asking me T-A-L tail. So he's very confused. He took away the tail but did not give Jimmy a long tail instead. So just out of anger, although he took away the tail, that is pooch, but he did not you know, fulfill his wish of giving a long story. Jimmy was happy that he no longer had a tail and do you know what? He is the best at spelling in his class now. So at least he learned a lesson from that, that how uh, you know uh, wrong it could go if you don't write correct spelling and how it can change, it can entirely change the meaning of what you want to convey, right? So it is very very important to learn spellings and because it can just change the whole meaning of sentences. So he learnt the lesson and thereafter he started learning the spellings very, uh, you know, mm, sincerely. Brownies and goblins are found in fairy tales and are supposed to have magic power. So it is given what brownies are. So they are the, uh, you know, magical characters in fairy tales that have the um, that possess magical powers. So children, this is a small funny story about a tail, not a tail. And it is for you also children, please learn spellings, okay? Do not learn answers without spellings. So children, this is the story and in the next class, I will give you the question answers. And these question answers you will write in your book itself and you will learn it, okay? So that is all for today. Thank you.